thank you again for entering the show. I was just really impressed, and I took pictures so I could show it on my Instagram page, so I'll do that. All right. The first one is the Merit Award for Mixed Media, and it goes to Mary Thornton with the title of Rhea Mosley. Quilting. Um, I, I don't know how they do that, but I love it. But this piece, um, I kept going back to. Thank you. I kept going back to um, number one because I'm a woman and I kind of liked it. Uh, number two, I love the fact that you see the early birth of a woman, the middle age, and then the golden years where it phases in and out. I know the picture probably doesn't do it justice, but it's very, very soft on the right hand side. And as she's evolving, she's becoming bolder and stronger. And we as women do that, hopefully. So I love that. Also like that all four corners are different. And in person, it's beautiful. And I love that. I would hang that in my home. Thank you. Appreciate it. Good job. <laughs> uh, Merit Award for Works on Paper, Dawn Eds. Eads, thank you. Yes, thank you. Look at that. <laughs> Very well done as far as illustration. And I don't know if anyone else paints me, but mouths are hard. And I will say, very well done. Definitely can tell that she's coming out of the leaves. And I like the composition, I do. Um, and I like how you presented it, how you floated it with the frame. I thought your presentation was very good. I, I do, it's very professional looking, I like that. But mouths are hard, and like, I would never have attempted that, so if I can't do it, I'm going to reward you for doing it, so thank you. But I really did, I loved it, and I love the way that the leaves are just embracing her and only one eye. So, um, I found it very interesting, and I love interesting things, so thank you. Thank you. Uh, the third is Merit Award in Watercolor. It goes to Debbie Reed, No More Kisses. <laughs> for our prints, aren't we ladies? <laughs> um, what I loved about it was I like the composition. I love the frogs on the bottom with the line and then the frogs to the left on the wood stick going up. So it frames it very nicely. I love the frog in the middle. I also like the lines and the patterning. Um, the only thing I'd probably change is I'd like a little bit more boldness in one side or the other. But it's just, it tells a story. And I really like the story and I loved her face in it as well. So very well done. I liked it. And it's an interesting subject matter. Yeah. So thank you. Okay. Uh, a Merit Award in Acrylic goes to Jeff Cantwell Sr. Is he here? No? Okay. So Jeff, I liked this is beautiful in person. I really like it, and I'd love to see it bigger. Um, I love the line and the shadow at the bottom, and I'll tell you why, because it gives me solitude. It wants me to go right back in there. Something about a line in a painting, it just, it draws me in, and I loved his use of greens. He had such beautiful warmth, but the majority of it was two-thirds cool, and I really, really liked it. So I kind of was questioning what was back behind that path, and I kept going back to it. So. I enjoy it, but that line right there and that shadow, which I love that not every tree has that shadow. And um, I found it very appealing to my eye. So that's kind of one of those, but thank you. Very well done. Okay. Uh, the next one is Merit Award in Oil, and it goes to Dustin Miller. <laughs> I love this one. Um, I'd hang this one in my home. I would like to see it like a 30 by 30, and it's it's smaller than that. But I love his, when you look at it in person, you can see his brushwork. Every square has different brushwork. Now, it might be the same size, but what I mean is in a different direction. And I just love the juxtaposition of it. It is just, it's interesting, and I like the subject matter. Um, I love how they're curved into a corner. And I love this big space around their necks. It makes me move into it. And when you look at it in person, it's it's just, it's very striking. 
So but I'd love to see that one bigger, but congratulations. I love that one very much. The Mary Ellen Pitts Memorial Pastel Award goes to Al Gritton. Gritton? All right. Okay, thank you. Uh, Georgia On My Mind. Uh, the subject is placed in the middle, which there is nothing wrong with sticking something in the middle. I don't know. What you, the rules are made so you can break them, so just break them is fine. Um, the subject is placed in the middle, but the differences of categories is I like the antlers and how they touch one side of her face. And then if I look over to the other side is what I like are the flowers are not touching, but they're touching the side of the canvas. So her whole subject is touching the top, the bottom, and to the right, but it's leaving this whole open space here and it makes it work. And it's very appealing and I just like the glare in the eye too. So it was really nice. Love it, very well done. Yeah. And that should be a good time you know that I like big paintings. If you're gonna look at it, go home, go big, just go big. All right, third place, Emerging Artist Division, um, Elizabeth Burton, When One Door Closes. Is she here? Oh, yay, come on up here. Um, the execution of detail is superb, so well done. Um, and this is a small painting, which reads really big when you look at it. Um, execution of detail, well done. Composition at an angle. And her, it's not just straight up, it's angled, which makes it a much better, interesting composition. And in the photo, you can't see it, but when you view it across the street, she's got that play of a little bit of blue with the reddish orange. It's subtle enough, but it works. But I really liked it, and I thought it was beautifully done. So, very nice. Thank you. Okay, Randy Davis is the second place emerging artist division out of reach. Oh my gosh, this one is beautiful. It's beautifully presented. Um, I think it says a lot about what we need in the world today. We need to kind of reach out and help each other. Um, I just love the fact that it was beautifully the imagery and the contrast of light and dark and the way the design holds together. Um, I'm one of these that believe design trumps composition. You have to have your painting to hold together before you can have a composition. And I just loved it. And I would definitely have done that big, it, bigger it would even be more beautiful. So, um, and I don't draw. I, does that sound crazy? I paint, I don't draw, but I know how to draw. I just choose to paint. But I'm always intrigued by people who take that much time and observation. So um, very well done. Executed actually. Thank you. Yes. All right. First place emerging artist division, Allie Ray. Who are the Americans? <laughs> Sarah was kind enough to send me the image because I live so far away. She was so kind enough to look send me the images prior to judging. So I kind of, you know, was being able, because I was driving, I think I need to get there, I need to spend some time with them. And this one just hit me home. Um, I don't really know why yet, but I'm still looking. I'd like to see it bigger. I mean big, because I think it has a good story to read for it. What I love about it is the eye and her look. I like this big square of black and the little square triangle of light next to her braid. I like her braid laying next to that contrast of white collar. And I like how the triangles, you can find so many triangles in this painting. Um, very well done. I just, I love it. And I love the storyline behind it. So thank you so much for sharing this. <laughs> Uh, third place, Professional Artist Division, Debbie Reed, Floral Study. Wow, I love this one. This one I liked. Um, it's big, and it's messy when you walk up really, really close to it, and then when you walk by, it just reads beautifully, which I like. Um, I like the big peony in the center, where it's right next to that really deep, deep pink. It makes it sing. And when you see it across the street, there's a little hint of blue throughout everything. So I love her harmonious palette. It holds together and it's beautiful. And when I squint, I can just see so much movement. Um, 
I just love that. So thank you so much. That was that was one of my favorites. I used to be a florist for years before I really painted all the time. So flowers are a love of mine. Uh, second place professional artist division is Jesse McCormick, Living Landscape. Is that <laughs> Okay, I'm going to say it again for the 10th time. Do it bigger. <laughs> Let me tell you what. Um, I'm an oil painter, and to do that in oil without it getting muddy is fabulous. Um, that thing moved with me all through the room when I was looking at it. I love it, and I love abstraction work. If you don't do abstraction work, I suggest doing some on the side. It really helps. I love it. Really? Oh, I love you. You're awesome. Well, I liked it, and I'd love to see it bigger, but I want to say I was like intrigued even with the pictures, but yeah, I loved it. Congratulations. <laughs> when you're looking at it, and what I like, I'm so sorry, when I'm looking at it, there's things that are going left and right. There's things that are going up and down. There's things that are going this way. And those are things I look for in a painting that attracts me, and it's called movement and vitality and rhythm. And every painting should have a heartbeat at some point, okay? And that just gave me life every time I looked at it. But, um, and I love the fact that when I got to see it, it was only like this big. It's like, can I go a little bit bigger? So, like that. okay. Thank you so much. It's well done. Thank you. Um, the next one is first place professional artist division is Barbara Hicklin. Did I say that right? Yes. Okay. Dogwood Canyon. <laughs> um, mighty and powerful. This is small art or small canvas with big art on it. Um, I like this one a lot. I do not paint a lot of landscapes, but I'm an avid viewer of landscapes, and I love where I live, and I, I love your, your countryside here. Um, I love the dark, the dark on one side and the light on the other, but the way that tree hugs that bridge, I liked. And I also like the way that her value of dark to light is just right on. Over here on the right-hand side, you will see that dark square, but if you start reading from the right side to the left, the darks all touch each other like a sentence. So your values of dark should always read through your painting like a sentence. And I think that did it. Every time I walked by it, I'd squint at it and it moved. Wherever I went, it moved with me. And I couldn't stop looking at it. So, And it's got a very nice composition and a design. But I love that one. So very well done, too. Thank you. Um, and then best of show. Oh wow! Yeah. And Jeffrey Jones, portrait of art. Is Jeffrey here by chance? Well, you shake your hand. Yes. If if you've not seen it in person, you'll know when I, you walk into the door. Um, there's so much about this one I loved. Again, when, I, when I'm always looking at painting, I, I play with a lot. I always look at my peripheral and then I take a good walk and I glance and I glance. It moved with me all the way to the end of the hallway. And I know what you know what I mean that by that. Um, the, view, the way he's holding the cello, it's almost like he's just embracing it. There's a difference between it holding and embracing. And I felt that. I love the touch of his fingers on the line or on the cello uh, chord. They're soft. Love how when I squint and I look at the values when you see it in person, his right elbow actually almost disappears into the value of the tree or the green brush behind him, which is excellent because when you go straight at an angle to his cheek, you have this beautiful light to dark, very contrasting and very interesting, but you immediately know where he's pointing. Um, I also like the bench end here where it's straight and how it's not just straight on the edge where he's sitting, it's angled a little bit. I like the V of his knees with the cello and the circle. So there's a lot of juxtaposition of different shapes there. I like a linear shape with a curved shape, and I like that too. Loved it. So very well done. I just, I love it. And I love the size of it. So he doesn't need to go back. 